after the manner of the Babylonians of Chaldea. Verse 17. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love, and they defiled her with their whoredom, and she was polluted with them. I told you when the Hebrew people were in bondage, they learned all of these customs from the Egyptians. But the Egyptians learned it from the Babylonians. Yeah. Now let's connect this in verse 27. Thus will I make thy lewdness to cease from thee, and thy whoredom brought from the land of Egypt. Thus will I make thy lewdness, or sinful life, to cease from thee, and thy whoredom, again, sinful condition, brought from the land of Egypt, uh huh. So that thou shalt not lift up thine eyes unto them, nor remember Egypt anymore. I don't want you to remember. Egypt no more. Amen. I don't want you to remember the past no more. Amen. I don't you I don't want you to remember how when you was in the world and how you used to put on the makeup oh, and the big yeah. earrings and the high heel shoes. <laughs> and, and just, I don't want you to remember that. I don't want you to identify with that. What? Because I've cleaned you up. I've called you to be changed. I want you to change your garment. Amen. All right now, watch now in verse 40. And furthermore, that ye have sent for men to come from far. Unto whom a messenger was sent, and lo, they came. For whom thou didst wash thyself, painted thy eyes, and deckest thyself with ornament. Painted thy eyes, which means the face. You know, you can't paint your eyes, so it's talking about the face in this context. You paint your eyes and put on ornaments, on your jewelry, necklace, earring, bracelet, nose jewels. And drop down to verse forty-eight. Thus will I cause lewdness to cease out of the land. Thus will I cause lewdness or sinful behavior to cease out of the land. That all women may be taught not to do after your lewdness. That all women, yes. not some women, yes. all women, not women at Corinth, right. all women may be taught. What did the word say about receiving with meekness? The engrafted word which is able to Thus will I cause lewdness to cease out of the land, which means the holy kingdom, or the church, if you will, that all women may be taught not to do after your lewdness. Now let's turn to Hosea 2 and 13. We're talking about jewelry. Earrings is a sin. I don't care what Reverend told you. Amen. Hear what the prophet of the Lord Amen. told you. That's right. Amen. The word of God, which is able to save your soul if you Amen. listen. Yes. That's why I say if you're viewing by way of, of uh, YouTube or uh, over the internet, you're going to true light, follow the word of God as I have instructed you to follow it. Amen. I'm concerned about your soul. You ain't got but one soul. And that soul one day got to stand before the judgment yes, on God. Yes, God's word is true. Many don't believe. They go to church. But I know they don't believe this book. So it don't apply to them. If this gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. So if the word that comes to you to change you is not changing you, it's because the word is hid from you. All right, where, where am I? Hosea? And I will visit upon her the days of Bela, wherein she burned incense to them. I'm going to come and remind you when you used to worship false gods, Balaam, false god, false deity, false prophet, uh-huh. And she decked herself with her earrings and her jewels, and she went after her lovers, and forget me, said the Lord. She put on her makeup and her jewelry, and she forgot my instructions yeah. to change your garment and be clean and take them earrings and give them to the prophets who can hide them. Yeah. Forgot about that. Forgot about all of that. Forgot about the holy instructions. Get me a... Let's, let's go right to Isaiah third chapter. All right. yeah. We're talking about Jewish earrings. Well, God, he, he, he don't care about me wearing earrings because I pay my tithes. 
Paying your tithes don't save your soul. Paying your tithes is an act of faith to obedience to God's word. The holiness principle comes with instruction so that you don't violate God's instruction. And since you didn't write the instructions and you claim to be a follower of Christ, the only thing you can do is follow Christ by obeying the instruction. Third chapter. Pick right up. Verse 18. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments. Back up to verse 17 so we can make this connection. Therefore, the Lord will smite with the scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. The daughters of Zion means the holiness church. Uh huh. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. Their pride, their vanity. God said, I already know about it. Uh huh. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon. The chains and the bracelets. And chains the and the bracelets. Uh huh. The bonnets and the ornaments of the, the legs. The bonnets. Yeah. Well, I don't wear no veil, but I wear a hat. <laughs> the, the, the hat means bonnet. I believe it's a Latin word. Bonnet, it means hat. God didn't tell you to wear a hat. He told you to wear a veil. Yes. There's a difference between a hat and a veil. Yes. Oh, but it's such a, a small thing. <laughs> but hell ain't small. Yeah. The bonnets are heavy lines. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The bonnets and the what? Ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. And the earrings. Uh -huh. The rings and the nose. You can't have no, no, no jewel in your nose. It, it, it used to be popular, and you don't see too much of it now. But, what, 10, 15 years ago, sure. and everybody you see had, uh, you couldn't go in a store, a drugstore, a supermarket. Somebody got a nose, a thing in the nose, and in their tongue. I stopped and asked a, 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 a lady working on the cash I was in the store somewhere. And uh, she had this th big thing in her tongue. And so I, I, I don't know what called an ass, but I just said, I don't mean no offense. Uh, but do that bother you? She said, no. I said, well, do you eat with it? She said, yeah. I said, do you take it out? She said, I can take it out and put it in whenever I get ready. I said, well, and then I caught myself. I started to say, well, why you got it in there? But, you know, do things decently and in order. But it, I was really curious. And uh, why they do this is because they're trying to prove something to the world of normalcy. I'm not normal like the rest of the world. Yes. See, I got, I, not only have I got earrings in my, you notice hey, I, that ain't too popular, but it used to be they'd have strings in yes. earrings. Yes. Two, three, four, five holes yes. in your ear. And, and the worst thing in the world, you go on some of these malls and you see a little child there and she crying and the mama's holding her and say, well, now this ain't gonna hurt. Ain't gonna and hurt. they're gonna put a hole in her ear to put a, well, there ain't no earring, it's just a stud. Whatever that's supposed to be. Why are you doing this? You are you are taking God's temple and putting a hole in the flesh to defile God's temple. Hallelujah. This is all vanity. This is all heathen custom. There's no difference in having earrings, but in that Baptist church, they ain't gonna go in with no earring in their nose. And if somebody did, they would look. I wonder what's wrong with her. Ain't that something? But they got them in the ear. Yeah. Ain't no different having them in your ear, Amen. in your nose, in right. your lip. Right. Ain't no difference. Right. You're still putting an ornament in your yeah. flesh yeah. that belongs to God. Oh, if yeah. you claim you're saved, Amen. know you're not that your temple is that your body is the temple of God, yeah. and not to defile the temple of God. He that defiles. Give me that. First Corinthians. Can I teach y'all tonight? Yes, to y'all about the same church. Yes, yes. Chapter 3. No, you're not. Let's see. No, you're not. Chapter 3. Verse 6. 3. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? Which ye have of God, and ye are not of your own. Hmm. For ye are bought with a price. You are yes. bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are God's. If 
any man be found. I, I think I'm in First Corinthians. I'm in the third chapter. chapter. Yeah. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, now if any man defile again, man or woman, masculine is used, but it's still talking about women. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. If any man defile the temple of God, him 